Hello! From Hello. York, from Mallorca! Insert some travel clips here. Mallorca. We've been here a couple days. This is our view. Can you like? Can you believe that the view is even better in this room? Hello. Hello. Yeah. You wait. Look. Oh, light's gone crazy. Look at this. Like. Ah. My goodness. So we've got a whole set of windows here, and that is the view. If we close these when we go out. Yeah. Because yeah. of bugs. So we'll probably do a full tour maybe tomorrow or something. Because the reason we haven't vlogged yet is because, oh it's very dark that way, is because the first day we got here was evening and then yesterday, was it yesterday? Uh, oh no no, the first day was the evening, then the, the first day we were here, it was the, what are we doing on Wednesday? What day is it? Friday. Wednesday we just ate and explored. Yeah, Wednesday we, we ate some food, we explored, we slept in, we had like a nice lion and then yeah. left for lunchtime, walked around, came back here and kind of relaxed and then went out again for dinner. Yeah, and then on Thursday it was, I was working, so yesterday it was really annoying because we didn't really want to be doing that, but I did a video called Beginner's Guide to Veganism, which might be already up, and um, it just took so much longer than I expected and I really wanted it to be good, and I had to get like extra footage, like stock footage, and I was just sat editing and then I had pictures to do and um, I also had another sponsored post on Instagram to do and the Beginner's Guide to Veganism was, was also sponsored so I was kind of talking to the brand and oh my gosh it just ended up meaning I was literally working all day and we haven't even I haven't even been in the water yet no <laughs> but the reason I did it like that is because I want I also went through all my emails because there's loads of emails I hadn't replied to I just wanted to do it all and get it over with so I could then relax because I knew that if I went outside and started sunbathing and stuff I'd just be thinking I have this work that I need to finish so now it is midday we're gonna go get lunch and have a nice lion and we're gonna go and sunbathe and do nothing for the rest of the day and snorkel you can finally go in the sea i can finally go in the sea and wear my new bikini and yeah. i'm really excited so let's go staying Woo. flowers we are staying in alex's parents apartment they bought it in Jan uh, february, february january february yeah um and it's somewhere that what well, you've been a lot since you're a kid right yes because my dad got his uh lump sum pension money in <laughs> so he splooged it on a fancy well fancy it's a really it's a nice apartment with a nice view in yeah. a place we've been before so yes yeah, so we're in calador in mallorca and um we're very grateful and lucky to be able to stay here at his parents' place. It's so yeah. cool. I feel so grateful for that. And, um, and I know the area a bit, which is handy. Yeah. And also, right around the corner, literally a one minute walk, is a vegetarian <laughs> and vegan I restaurant. See it from here. Yeah. It's so amazing. And we've already eaten there three times, is it? Or twice? Uh, oh. Three times? Eaten, no, twice. Twice. Yeah. It's called Treff. And um, yeah, we were so shocked at how close it was. So that's exciting. Yeah. And we're going to go back. Last time I came, it was like a dingy cafe. Yeah. But the man, we had a chat with the man. He said his mum, so his mum used to own it, mm -hmm. and he took over, and he became vegan, and he decided to change the whole restaurant to be like a vegetarian, vegan, organic restaurant. Yeah. He was having a full-on chat with us, and we told him we had a YouTube yeah. channel. <laughs> he was really nice. So if you're ever in Mallorca, definitely come visit Tref. The food's yeah. really good and we're going to eat the whole menu before we leave so yes. I'm going to try something new. And also, good news, um, when I saw my dietitian, she said to give gluten a go again to see if the, the, it was just related to the IBS and the stress. The fact that my other IBS, IBS symptoms have gone away, she said to give it a go on holiday because I've not got any work to do so I can, if I get sick, I can just lay out on the beach and it doesn't matter if I get bloated nil. I can just nap. So I tried gluten yesterday, we had like a really lovely dinner in front of that view and I had bread and stuff and I'm fine yeah so I think it's pretty certain that whole the whole IBS thing was stress and feeling tense and stuff um I'm just really happy now so I'm gonna eat I can eat what I want well I'm not gonna overdo it I'm not gonna overdo it, it might be portion related but 
for now. Yay! So the other day when we were here, we had our own straws and we were talking to him about plastic straws and he said that he gives the kids like a sugar straw made from like lemon, you can eat it. So let's oh. give this a go. Oh my God, it's like busy. It's like sweet. <laughs> that is so cool. Does it dissolve? Probably. You should try it, it tastes like lemon sherbet. It does dissolve, yeah. you're bitten a bit off. Yeah, that's what I did. You did not see me biting it, that was the point. <laughs> oh yes, I need some of them at home. Did you ever have, you Maddie or any of you, it was like these plastic straws when you were a kid. And yes. And had like the Nesclip. Yes. Or yeah, so they yes. had like the sugary strawberry or chocolate flavour and then you drink. Chocolate, never strawberry. Uh, you drink the milk through it. Yeah. It would make the milk. Yeah, and it would always get blocked and they were really bad. I think I only ever had it like just, once because my parents wouldn't, they were like, it's too yeah. expensive, but... Um, yeah, they just use Nesquik powder, yeah. don't they? I used to only drink Nesquik as hot chocolate because I didn't like any other hot chocolate. I was a really, really, really fussy <laughs> child. So I'd heat up Nesquik in the microwave with milk and that was my hot chocolate. I used to just eat the Nesquik with a spoon straight in my mouth. What? It was like flavoured sugar, it was delicious. Oh my God. Alex got a vegan kebab, look at it. Holy I'm gonna, cow. I'm gonna try and eat it like a kebab, but it's gonna go everywhere. Come. On. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, it's so full. Got a little bit on your face. Just a bit. Just a little bit. Just a touch. <laughs> mm. How good is that? Reminds me of the ones in Croydon and is it Shoreditch, the box park places. Mm. So good. Wow. Can't even finish a pizza. What's wrong with you? It's really filling. <laughs> Time to head to the beach. Dinner was, lunch was great, not dinner. Lunch was great. I'm very full. Alex had to finish mine because I uh, finish stuffed. it. stuffed. <laughs> and now I'm just going to lie down for hours until I get too hot and then run in the sea and then do it all over again. Roast you on both sides. That's what she said. <laughs> Alex gave me a hard time about getting these seats. He was like, let's sit on the floor. But I am a princess and I need the shade. Oh gosh, the wind. Yeah, I need the shade so when it gets hot, because I'm so pale, I can't sit in the sun for too long. I have to go in the shade after a certain amount of time, which sitting on the floor, you can't, you can't do, so. <sighs> this is nice. It's like my bikini, my yellow bikini. I got it from a brand called To Dive For. Way. They're a UK brand. It's all designed and made in the UK. So, yeah. This is my book of choice, and I'm excited to delve in. So, we've had a little sunbathe. Huh? Now we're going to go in the water, I think. Do you think? Yeah. We were gonna go get the GoPro, but we figured we're here for long enough that we can do the GoPro another day. Yeah. So we're just gonna get in the water. We're also gonna take these <laughs> little snorkel things. Alex, got these. See, so you matches, your, matches your outfit. This is my bikini. 20 minutes later. How's that? That was really fun. And my sunglasses. Everything is covered in sand. Good thing we got these uh, 
chair so we wouldn't get any sand. Where is my sunglasses? Ah, I got them. That was really fun. We went and snorkeled and I did some synchronised swimming. <laughs> and we saw some fish. So now I'm going to lie here and dry off. Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah. Where's my phone? Why do you need your phone? Huh? I'm checking it's available to me. I'm checking it's available to me. Look at my feet. This is not acceptable. I hate this. Once they're dry, it'll be easier to get the sound off. <laughs> Alex got a really garish towel. Is that mine? Huh? Is that mine? My mum got that. It's very pink. It's very, very pink. Bye bye. Which way do I hold you? This way? Or this way? <laughs> Really relaxing noise, isn't it? Look, look, get your babo, get your babo, la viagra. We are back. Frank Sinatra is on. I'm very backlit. Um, why is it so dark? And Alex is mopped and hoovered everywhere, and I'm cooking some dinner. Um, last night we had this amazing meal where we like had bread and hummus and guacamole and yeah. gherkins and olives and it was so good. So we're having a similar thing except that I'm going to cook some rice instead of bread because we don't have any bread left. That rice uh, onion smells so good. It does and I'm also going to cook some chickpeas with some like tomatoes and paprika and stuff and then we'll have all the other bits as well so I'll show you when it's all ready but this is going to be where we're going to sit. But I feel like that view is better than any view you'll get at any restaurant, so... <laughs> I just... I, I can't. I can't get over it. Look at it. So here is our beautiful setup. So we've got chickpeas, which I don't even know, I just made chickpeas with tomato and onion and paprika and whatnot. Cucumber and tomato, rice, guacamole, hummus, and some pickles, some gherkins, olives, and these little peppers. Uh, some kind of peppers. They're hot. dinner it was delightful because this is our view I'm gonna shut up about the view now we're listening to Frank Sinatra still and there's some kind of um, entertainer singing I think it's the Friday night hotel party where they sit outside and drink beers for happy hour and listen to a paid entertainer Quite nice. There's something about the way it kind of reflects yeah. off the the cliffs. Mm -hmm. We're thinking that tomorrow morning we're going to go for a walk, to go find somewhere that we can. I'm out of my head. Sorry, I stopped interrupting myself because I knew what something was. You, hopelessly devoted to you. Do you not know who this is from? Pretty woman. Hopelessly the bodyguard. Guys, comment below what's, what movie it's from. Was it either of those two? No, nothing close. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go on a hike tomorrow morning because um, we've only kind of stayed in this area and we figured we could drive somewhere or walk somewhere and go find somewhere to go venture out into the great unknown. Great unknown. No, just kind of like get out because this is like a family. It's like a holiday tourist location, this spot we're in, um, where there's lots of apartments and hotels and, you know, swimming pools and that type of thing, which is lovely, but it's, I want to go find somewhere to go on a walk and see some nature and, like, maybe walk along a cliff or get a good view or something, I don't know. I'm going to look it up online uh, this evening. I want to see the real Mallorca. <laughs> My hair's gone really, like, because I um, went in the sea and I just showered with water, it's gone all curly and, like... Mm. We need to go get some cookies for Love Island. Yeah, we have ITV2 here, yeah. um, which is really good, which means I can still watch Love Island. Uh, and I can watch Wimbledon and the World Cup on the BBC and ITV. Yeah. 
It's pretty great. I thought I was going to miss it all. Someone on Twitter, or was it Instagram, someone said, are you going to be the next person on Love Island? And I said, yeah, see you, Alex. That's why I'm here. Well, as long as you won the money, I wouldn't oh, mind. speedboat. Nope. Fancy. Um, what's this? Did you just say as long as I'd win the money, I don't, you wouldn't mind? Yeah. You just dump the guy. You'd do a spread in OK Magazine, get some more money, and you'd come home to me. And I'd change my social media into selling detox teas <laughs> and weight loss shakes yeah. and teeth whitening. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'd have to cheat on you. I'd have to kiss another boy. But you wouldn't mean it. I've kissed loads of other girls and I haven't. <laughs> what oh. I was going to say was, um, my brother left some cookies in the fridge, because he mm. was here just before us. And I was like, oh great, I can't eat these. And then we realised we could, because it was dark chocolate cookies. They're from, accidentally vegan. From the local spa, which yeah. is also a supermarket in the UK. Mm. And we went to find more cookies, and we found another type of mm -hmm. cookie. And they were that really, was also really good. Dark chocolate and vegan, so. We're gonna go back and get them. We're gonna get some more, because I ate them when we came back after yeah. the beach. Yeah. And I mentioned earlier that I'm back on the gluten. I don't know what I said about it, but <clears throat> it means I can eat cookies again, because my dietitian, I don't, did I say this, Alex? Yes, you did. Okay, well, she said that I should test it out, so... Um, you didn't have any bloat or anything? Nothing. I had a whole... Like, we shared a loaf of bread last night, and I had about three slices of bread, and no bloat, nothing, no symptoms, so... Normally you just get spots and... Blah, yeah, I do. Blah. I get, like... I, I was getting some serious problems, but... Um, when I saw her, if any of you are interested, when I saw her, she said that IBS C, which is when you have, like, constipation, which is what I had, uh, that's usually or often it can be related to stress because that IBS is psychosomatic, so your mind to gut connection is very strong and it can really affect your digestion. And often that means you're very tense if you're stressed, which means you get constipated and you have cramps and that type of thing, which is what I was experiencing and among other things. So um, it was likely to be due to stress and I've been doing yoga and I've been winding down. So I think that it has really improved. And doing yoga too, I think, will always help and I've been really enjoying it. I've been doing yoga with Adrian every morning. I've even kept it up here because I don't want to just stop doing it because I'm on holiday because it helps me and it's making me feel calm. So yeah, something I think I'll probably keep up for the foreseeable future. So if any of you are experiencing something similar, give yoga a go and try and look at your lifestyle and think is there something that's stressing me out? Am I doing too much? That could be could be an issue. We've still got an hour and 20 minutes till Love Island though because it's an hour ahead here so it's on at 10 and it's only 20 to 9. What are we going to do Alex? This is the thing, does anyone else experience this on holiday in the evening? Like the in-between bits on holiday, it's a bit like what do I do? Because okay. usually you're at work or you're kind of in your own home or you've got plans but when yeah. you're on holiday you don't really have any plans. Or you put some Netflix on. Right yeah now. we don't have internet, we don't have any Wi-Fi here by the way. So we're kind of like... I mean, I could... There, there is like Wi-Fi just... In the at, reception. At the reception, so I could... Actually, we could like download stuff on my laptop. Yeah. But um, when I used to come here when I was younger, we used to just like go to the strip. Yeah, let's just go for a walk. I thought you'd find that funny. That like mini street. Yeah, the let's strip. just go for a walk. Well, yeah, we'd let's go, show them. We'd like go on the... This like play... Uh, playgrounds and mini yeah. golf and like we'd get ice cream. And obviously some of that is a bit limited now we're older, but... It is fun. I would like the atmosphere, just walking yeah. around, and also that's where the supermarket is, so. Yeah, let's go for a stroll and we'll show you where we are. We're yeah. at. It's a proper, like, tourist-centric. <laughs> um, yeah. Everyone here is British, German, French, Scandinavian. French. I, heard, I heard some cheers when France scored yeah. earlier. I think there's some Norwegians. Yeah. There's a whole... But it's all tourists. It's an area Mixed that's... Bag. It's Calador, yeah. and it's an area that's all for tourism, like people it's all holiday homes yeah, yeah. and hotels. apartments and hotels, yeah. um, which makes it interesting. I've never stayed here somewhere like this before, um, whereas Alex came here lots when he was younger, so he's like remembering it all from when he was little. Have any of you been to Mallorca? Where in Mallorca did you go? But yeah, we'll go get, we'll, we'll show you, we'll show you the strip, as Alex put it. <laughs> Gilippo! Come on, Alex. Mmm, can I try yours? I haven't tasted a strawberry. Mm. What are you doing? <laughs> are you playing the recorder? That's good, that. Oh, I didn't know it would be that. I thought strawberry would be gross. Unlucky. Can I try some more? <laughs> 
Whenever I've been to shops and I've seen Calippo strawberry flavoured, I've always been like, oh no, and I've gone for the lemon, so good to know. What do we look like? I was saying to Alex yesterday, I was wearing a little skirt and a crop top and trainers, like white trainers. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Alex was dressed how Alex always dresses. Mm. And I was like, we look so young because there's lots of people here who are young, it's like families. And I was like, we could pass off as like a couple who are like 18 years old because we both <laughs> just looked so childish and young. Yeah, your outfit was particularly good. Cause that's the trend now, isn't it? Like with like crop tops and like high waisted skirts and shorts and then just like white trainers. Yeah. yeah, but look how cool this is here, right, right by where we are. There's a little walkway and then people can jump off down here. Down there and then there's a hotel up here. So this is the strip. Oh yeah. Where you can buy such things as towels and lilos. And look at this one. This is the one I wanted to get, but Maddie wouldn't let me. <laughs> I wonder why. And yeah, it just goes down here, on and on and on. Is that your favourite place when you were little? With oh, the go-karts, yeah. Yes. And didn't you say that Andy's Bar was also... Andy's Bar, best bar on the strip. <laughs> Look at this place, this is the dream for kids. Yeah. I remember trying to get on those inflatable things with my brother, but they wouldn't let us because we were too big. Really? They, it's like it a unfair. limit. I want to go on one of these if you have to be a kid. I don't know. This is the thing about like kids places, is I always want to go on them, yeah. but you're not allowed to when you're an I adult. I reckon if you went a bit later why, the kids were... But why are you not well, allowed to when you're an adult? I think it'd be fine. <laughs> it makes me so sad. We could definitely go on all the <laughs> mini golf. I yeah. mean, I just want to play on the this mini -golf trampolines great. and stuff. <gasps> mini golf, do we have time for mini golf? Well... Probably not. Probably. Hang on. Sorry, the World Cup's off. Is it is it a time frame for the mini golf? Uh, I don't know. No. How no. about how about we come back tomorrow after the England game? Okay. Uh, and we'll get the special offer. Of okay. You get a free drink when you do a round, and that's the sort of time when there's nobody there, so you can go round and round, and there's no queuing. Sounds good. I just yeah. <laughs> That mini golf's got water features. It's got to loop the loop. It's got everything. Good. This shop is basically just alcohol. Every, like, the whole shop is lined with alcohol. Imagine if alcohol was this cheap in the UK. God. What's not? Oh, yes, that is quite cheap. Well, I could now, I mean, like, put like, the good stuff down there. Mm. One, two euros. Yeah. I've already had my one euro carton of wine. <laughs> yeah, I even tasted that. It was good. Yeah. Look at this thing we saw the other day. Like, what is this? And why? Who made this come into existence? It's the kind of because... thing I would make. No. If I was a sweet designer? No. Would you ever eat those, though? I, ha I would ha This is my idea of, like, hell. I hate Sorry, marshmallows. Sorry, is worse. Come on. Oh, my. Does anyone <laughs> buy this shit? Like, what the hell? My goodness me. But look. I would have bought that. I would have bought that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look, it's me and you. <laughs> <laughs> and there's me, and there's me, and there's you. That's me. Angry birds. That's me. <laughs> that's you. That's no, me. that's you. You're Spider Man. Right, are we getting any crisps? Oh, that's you. Are we getting any crisps? <gasps> they have popcorn! What flavour is it? Salted. I'm gonna get some popcorn. Well. Here they are, as well as Oreos, but I'm, I'm off Oreos since no. last year traveling. We had it all the time. Uh, these, these ones? These milky. Oh, a bigger pack. They probably more they have milk in them. Oh my God, they don't. Yeah, it's a bigger packet, yeah. Is it better value? Yes. Where's the one we had the other day? The donut ones? They contain nuts, milk and egg, but they don't. Where's the other one we had the other day? Oh. These. Yeah. We'll take it. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> That's it, 3 July. These things take me back to this. I used to eat these by the 
bucket load to the point my mum even my mum even bought me one of those big buckets of them from Trago because they used to sell them in the big buckets. And you used to I used to live for these things. Are these vegan? I don't think they are. I remember checking. I think it's the colouring. We could probably check online. I just remember they flavouring. Like, they felt like they were pulling your teeth out. I had a few fillings, but like it was just yeah. destroying my teeth. Anyone else were you obsessed with these millions? They were my favourite sweet of all the time. What the bubbleo? Yeah. No, uh, th this this flavour in particular was my favourite sweet of all time, as well as the raspberry. But no, the blackcurrant was the best because it was really sour. Literally my favourite sweet of all time. I don't think they're vegan. Well, they might be. They didn't seem to have anything in them that wasn't vegan. Uh, sometimes they have mysterious flavourings that they don't. Yeah, but I, I don't think it's a good idea. I buy it anyway. Um, but yeah, look at all the alcohol. So this is obviously all souvenirs for people to take back home. And then all of this. This is like a little local shop, like a small market shop. Like a convenience shop, but it's alcohol, yeah. alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. This they know their audience. Sad. This is the thing that I hate, is that you can't get convenience food, like snacks, in with, in like paper or anything. Yeah. Always in plastic. Or, or we used to open our store, it would just be pick and mix crisps. Well, you should, why don't they ever have paper bags? Yeah. But I'm not going to live without snacks. I'm not going to live without snacks. Where? Mm. I didn't really. The, the slightly racist Chris we got the other day had lots more stereotypes. <clears throat> you think Brazilians would be happy with this? Yeah, and there. We, bought, we the... bought these the other day. Like, come on. Look. French. <laughs> I don't think they're trying to be offensive. No. But. It's a bit. Like weird. how the Italian one is like this super hot, <laughs> super hot woman who looks like Nigella Lawson. And then she there's... looks like Nigella Lawson crossed with Megan Fox. Super Mario. Why are the men like cartoons and the women are really hot? Like, this is this is a problem. This is more problematic. The women have to be like sexualized and the men can be cartoony. You know? Interesting. I've never seen so many sweets. I've never seen so many of these trolley ones. Oh my god. It's basically this shop is just sweets and alcohol because it's just children and parents who are here. Str Look, vegetarian. <gasps> Spaghetti. No, we're not buying them. <laughs> that looks good though. It does look good. I really want them. <gasps> Apple sour. Ali. How much do <laughs> Too much, I imagine. No, we need Maybe to not, not buy these things. Two euros. We need to not be buying That's those things. That's actually quite a good price. No, they're so bad. We got the goods. We only came out for one cookie. And that just about rounds up our trip yeah. to Spella. Hope you enjoyed our really detailed tour of where we're staying and the strip. I mean, the strip we showed them. Really wobbly footage and dark and... Is it, it's not wobbly. You're filming, so it's probably wobbly. I feel naked because I'm wearing like this little play suit. It's You're like, anything else at all. Apart no. From <laughs> You guys know my uh, why I don't wear a bra, why I don't wear underwear video, but like because it's so free and floaty, I feel like legit naked. Even though it's a place and everything's covered up, it's like something you kind of shove on over a bikini. And I was wearing it earlier over my bikini to the beach, except I obviously showered and took my bikini off. <laughs> so it feels, it feels so anywhere, like airy. You can get away with it here. Oh yeah, everyone here is like wearing yeah. next to nothing. All the young teenage girls when they're in that age of like I want to show my body <laughs> so I want to be here we'll dedicate an evening to just we'll go to the bar we'll play some golf yeah go on the go-kart yeah play some air hockey hell yeah and be kids again yes. sorry I keep walking into you you do because I'm such a narrow angle this, this lens now I know <laughs> oh my god we never filmed we went to the strip what? What are you about to try and do? Are you about to part? No. We filmed us going to the strip and then we never filmed us coming back. I thought we did a bit. No. Did we? I thought we did. No. You were just looking through the clips? Yeah, I didn't think we did. Oh no, we didn't. My before. eyes hurt, I'm so <laughs> tired. We watched Love Island, I had some cookies, I ate the whole bag of popcorn by accident. By accident. I meant, to have, Deliberately. I meant to have half and save another half for tomorrow because I thought it would be nice to have half tomorrow as well. And this is what I always do, I always buy popcorn or crisps. I think, oh, I'll save some of that for tomorrow and then I just eat all of it. But you need to buy like half bags. That's more packaging. It's the same amount of packaging, it's just longer. 
Anyway, we are going to bed now. That's my leg. Whoops. Yeah. And we're, we're getting waking ready uh, for the England game tomorrow. We're waking up early because we're going to go on a little bit of a walk and explore. When you watch this, England will be in the semi-finals. So I hope you enjoyed the first day of meal. Okay, maybe we'll do a bit of a house tour when we get back from our walk. <gasps> Uh, sure. Sure, why not? Sure. If there's enough time. Yeah, we'll see. I need, to, I need several hours to get ready for the England game. We're going to have a night out in the town tomorrow, aren't we? We're going to... We're going to... Rip up the strip. Good night. This is what it's like every day. He's horrible. <laughs> He's such a horrible boy. Good night. <laughs>